All right, everybody, happy, uh, what day is this? Tuesday. Hey, we got a little more sun than we were expecting, which uh, helped our temperatures out a little bit more, uh, but we're still dealing with the remnants of this uh, cutoff low. I talked about this on Sunday, slowing down the pattern even more. It's uh, the remnants, okay, Dee Dee, that's the dog, Dee Dee, um, of this system, and it's cut off, meaning it, it's not really moving from the atmosphere at all. And so you can see that here. Uh, this is a, a look at the, the European model and that blue circle all closed circles uh, in the southeast is what's left of our weekend storm. Yeah, and it's just continuing. Watch what happens here over the next 12, 24 hours. It just kind of sits there and finally gets absorbed into the flow here uh, as we head in the weekend. That'll allow in uh, some better weather for us. But just to show you how slow this thing has been moving. So this is a satellite image from our discussion on Sunday. There's where the low is, basically the uh, Iowa, Wisconsin, Illinois border. And here's where it's moved to today hardly at all uh just a, a maybe a state or two to the southeast so that's why we're continuing to get these clouds flung back at us once again but there's a little bit less moisture so that's what we're dealing with today uh there's less of that cloud cover to be pushed at us but everything is still kind of moving east to west and taking a look nationally, there's where that thing is today we've got also the remnants of uh, what was tropical storm arthur for just a short time off to the uh, east in the atlantic and uh, things are looking a little bit brighter and warmer for us tomorrow. We should see temperatures warming up uh, again into the 70s, it looks like, the next couple of days. A little more sunshine tomorrow and Thursday. And I wish I had really good news for the holiday weekend. I can't believe it's already Memorial Day. But uh, unfortunately, it does look like we have at least the chance of some thunderstorms. I don't think it's going to be a total washout like last weekend. It's going to be more of a summer pattern where you can see we'll be warm in the 70s. Still a shot at 80, uh, but there just are going to be a few of these pop-up thunderstorms, a little bit of sunshine in between. All right, for a couple of things to talk about today, one is this major uh, cyclone. Same thing as a hurricane, depends upon what part of the world you're in. Uh, but we have Cyclone uh, Amphan. Hopefully I'm saying that right, but it is affecting India and Bangladesh here. Uh, you can see this big purple blob. Uh, hard to make out the countries unless you're really good with the geography of that areas, but uh, is going to be making landfall tonight into tomorrow. Uh, the European model showing that here. These are uh, wind gusts you can see very clearly circulating around, making landfall uh, near Calcutta and uh, the Bangladesh border here. This is by, uh, for our time, 8, 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. So this will be a big international story. It's a Category 4 storm, uh, so over 120 mile per hour winds. And uh, it is a major system there. Also, a piece of some good climate news as far as carbon dioxide emissions. Maybe you saw this in your feed. Uh, but thanks to COVID-19, again, we've been seeing some positive environmental news. Uh, carbon dioxide emissions globally down 17% for the month of April alone, which is huge. Uh, that amounts to essentially 40 Mount St. Helens to relate back to uh, what we saw and heard, of course, with the 40th anniversary yesterday. So there you go. Uh, everybody have a lovely rest of the day. Again, the forecast is looking warmer, a little brighter the next couple days, and the chance of some holiday weekend.